Hi friends, and welcome to Nona Kids Online. My name is Bonnie, the director of Anona Kids, and I am so glad you're here. In just a moment, you will get to watch our Anona Kids Live Sunday morning experience with worship, a Bible story, an important message, and so much more. This is what we do here at Anona Kids every week. If you are doing church from home, that is awesome. I hope that we will see you someday soon in Anona Kids. Until then, you can click the link below to access your church from home resources with a fun game, discussion guide, a prayer, and more that you and your family can still go deep into the Bible story, even from your living room. All right, I think we're almost ready to head into Anona Kids. Are you ready? Let's go! Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Anona Kids. My name is Casey. I'm so excited that you could be here today. We are going to have so much fun. We are going to learn so many cool things today, and we are going to have the best time ever. Yes. Welcome to Anona Kids. My name is Bonnie, and I'm the director of Anona Kids. We are so excited that you guys could be here today. We are going to have so much fun. We are going to play some games, do some worship, and learn all about something called the big idea. What? Oh, what? we're going to learn more. What's the big idea, you might ask? Oh, mm. uh, well, the big idea is something that God does on the inside of us to change the world around us. And this month, we're talking all about responsibility. Responsibility is showing that you can be trusted with what is expected of you. You guys are exactly right. When you live in a responsible way, other people will know that they can trust you. They can see that you'll do what you say you'll do. And remember, here at Anona Kids, we talk a lot about how we need to make the wise choice. And it is always wise to live responsibly. And remember, God is always there to help us do it. Uh, you know, Bonnie, I can't help but notice. I just I feel like you're not yourself today. Where's your pep? Where's your pizzazz? Where's your energy? Oh, Casey, I just, you're right. How did you notice? Yeah. I just, uh, I'm just not feeling myself today. I'm no. feeling a little sluggish. Ugh. I just feel like I don't want to do it. I just don't have it in me. I just don't want to work. I just Ugh. want to take a nap, I feel like. Oh, man, Bonnie, I'm so sorry. I have definitely, yeah, that's how it feels. I felt that way before, too. Have you guys ever felt have that you way ever before? Felt this way? Yeah, where you just Ugh. don't feel like doing it. Well, I wonder if we could do something to help Miss Bonnie get back to feeling like herself. What are some things that you guys do when you're feeling like this? How do you get yourself out of it? Jackson, what do you do? Oh, you could read the Bible, maybe find something encouraging, Why? find some hope in there. That's a great maybe idea. I Penny, what not. do you do? Give someone a card. Wow, that that's so nice. kind. Yeah, when you're not really feeling like yourself, maybe thinking of someone else and doing something nice for somebody can make you feel better. My friends up here, what do we think? You'll sing. Oh, that is maybe such... Maybe I could sing a song about... You could try. Doing better. That was great. That was really, really good. You guys, those are so many good ideas. Maybe some photos of our pet friends could help cheer her up. Let's see oh. some of those awesome oh, animals. That would make me so happy. Oh, wow. That's Penny and Graham with their puppy dog. What's your puppy dog's name? Liberty. Liberty. Sweet Liberty. Sweet Liberty. Oh my goodness, there's a Ella and Wyatt with your kitty cat. What's your kitty cat's name? Mac. Mac. Mac that is a cat. sweet kitty cat. So nice and orange. Oh, there's Jackson and Landon with their puppy dog. And is that a guinea pig too? What's your dog's name? Coco. And what's your guinea pig's name? That's Bye. awesome. Those, that is nice. Oh, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. Well, yeah. yeah, that makes me happy. And I wasn't even feeling sad. That made me really happy. Do you think those pictures and those ideas helped you, Miss Bonnie? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. So um, it also made me think of something that always cheers me up and really makes my puppy dog, Ellie, really happy too. So ah. back to responsibility. One part of our lives that we definitely need responsibility for is taking care of our pets, right? We have to remember to feed them 
them and play with them and sometimes walk them or clean out their cage. We, we have to remember to take care of our pets. And part of that is giving them little treats sometimes. Who likes to give their pets treats? Oh my goodness. Yes. So this is a little bit video of what my puppy dog, Ellie, she's 10 months old. This is what she's like when it's time for her to get a treat. I'm telling her to take it very nicely. We're working on her taking it nice. So she, she's going to wait. That was a um, nice little chomp. Aww. I think I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, Bonnie, Yes. Um, I got you a treat. <gasps> oh my goodness. I feel like that is probably just what I needed. Yeah. I know I'm going to be like... You know, we all like treats. I thought maybe this would help you because it's a treat for you. I feel so much better! Hey, Miss Bonnie feels better! That is just what I needed. <gasps> now I'm hey! ready to get back to work. Ah, she just needed a treat. Let's get up and get ready for our time of worship so we yes. can sing and dance. Oh, amazing. We, I am so happy Miss Bonnie feels better. It just takes a treat, guys. All right, my friends, we are already having so much fun today, and now we get to step it up and have even more fun. It is time for our moment of worship. We are so excited. We're going to sing. We're going to dance. This is a song called Ready, Set, guys, listen up. Move. And it is all about how we can follow Jesus every single day and put our faith into action. So stand up on your feet, sing, dance, wiggle, high five, but stay in your seat. Miss Bonnie, do we come on stage? Is yep. that a thing that we do? Sure. Okay, great. Miss Case doesn't know all the rules. This is Miss Bonnie's territory. Amazing. So let's do it. Let's sing it together. Get ready. Get set. Ready, set, move. Hey. You've been with me from the start. You're the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. You are showing me the Every day you are helping me, Jesus So I'll follow you Here and there and everywhere I know it's true You're always by my side I'm ready for the time of my life I'm set on doing what you do I'm gonna share your love with the world Ready, set, Take a seat, 
catch your breath. It is time to hear our Bible story for today. I'm so excited for this Bible story because it's kind of fun. Did you guys know there are bugs in the Bible? What? Bugs. A story about bugs? There's bugs in the Bible. Weird, right? I know. But as, as you know, we are talking this month about responsibility and why we should live our lives in a responsible way. So today we're going to look at some verses from the book of Proverbs. Ooh, yes. So we all know that the Bible is full of all kinds of important things for us to remember, wise sayings, wisdom for us that we can learn how to make good choices every day. Yeah. And a lot of these important things come from one king named Solomon. So King Solomon wrote about a bunch of different stuff in the Bible, Mm. and we can read his stories in the Bible. And Solomon became king when he was really young. And one night, God spoke to Solomon in a dream and told him that he could ask for anything that he wanted. (gasps) What do you think that he would have asked for? Ooh, asked for forgiveness. That would be clever. That would be smart. Jackson, what do you think? He would ask for crickets. Maybe. That would make sense if this was a Bible story about bugs. Very smart. Rosella, what do you think? A diamond, diamond maybe something so Riches to make him rich. What do you think, Christian? (gasps) To be king. Power. To be powerful. What do you think, Nora? Ooh, a thousand dollars. That would be smart to ask for something. But here, ready to hear what Solomon asked for? Solomon asked for wisdom, wow, for knowledge, so that he could lead God's people well, so that wow. he could be thoughtful and wise. Wow. And you know what God did? God gave it to him. <gasps> God gave him wisdom. So he was very wise and very smart. Wow. That's so crazy. So in Proverbs chapter six, Solomon shared what he, with all of this new wisdom, what he saw while he was watching a very specific kind of animal. Yeah. Now this wasn't just any pet, like what we've been talking about, but it was actually a kind of insect. So listen to this. You people who don't want to work, Think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in the summer and it gathers its food at harvest time. Smart. So Solomon explained here that there's a lot we can learn from ants. Why? Because ants know how to work hard. Let's check this out. Hey everyone. I'm Brian. Did you know that God designed all of us, every single person, for good work? Mm Mm-hmm. It's actually one of the first things we discover in the Bible. The first thing God did after creating the world and then Adam and Eve was to give them the amazing job of caring for creation. Our job is to love God and love others. And there are so many different ways we can do that. But you know, it often takes hard work. And in Proverbs, we find some unlikely role models for hard work. Ants. (laughs) That's right. Those creepy crawlies that most people try to step on? They're rock stars. Did you know an ant can lift up to 50 times its weight? And for every human on Earth, there are one million ants? (sighs) Okay, maybe um, don't think about that part too much. But ants are fascinating. And there's a lot we can learn from them. In Proverbs 6, we read, You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler. Ants show us how to work. Ants don't need anybody to tell them what to do. They each have their own jobs, and they work hard every day to do them. In an ant colony, some ants find food, some feed the larvae, others take out the trash, and some ants even stand guard. Come on, everyone, let's go. Working is better when we do it together. And just like an ant, you can take responsibility for your own chores and schoolwork. That's right. Don't you wait for somebody to tell you to get started or to follow through. And if you need help, take responsibility to ask for it. Let's keep going. Ants show us something else, too. But it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. So ants also teach us when to work. 
They know the best time to put in hard work. In the summer and fall, there's lots of food. Ants gather plenty to eat for themselves and to take back to the nest. Oh, maple syrup jackpot over here. Need an extra hand, a leg, with this aphid. Then in the winter, the ants can cozy up and rest, staying warm together safely below ground. You know, that's a great picture for us. When it's time to work, work hard. And when it's time to rest, rest well. Learn how to truly take a break. Not on a screen, but hanging out with friends, spending time outside, discovering something new, or just being still. God designed us for both rest and work. They go together. Okay, let's take a look at the whole thing together. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in the summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. So in the spring, when the ants are out and about, take a good look. I mean, you might just discover a whole new world. <laughs> the end. Wow, that's so cool. Friends, God made us to work hard. That's what Solomon understood when he saw the way that God made ants. If we want to be responsible, then we can give our very best effort to complete whatever job is right in front of us. That's why our bottom line, the most important thing to remember today is this. Work hard. God can help us make the most out of our skills and abilities so that we can make a difference in the world. And as we do, we honor God. That is awesome. I know, I don't think I will ever think of an ant the same way ever again. Yeah. Before you saw this, did you guys know that an ant can carry up to 50 times its size, its wow. weight? Wow. That makes it one of the strongest animals on the planet yeah. in relation to its size. That's crazy. It's stronger than an elephant. Yeah. It's much smaller than an elephant, but it could lift even more compared to its body size. And did you know that for every human on earth, there were one million ants. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of ants. I can't believe That's that. So but crazy. but it makes me think of what Solomon said. Ants yeah. work hard. Yeah. They don't have to be told what to do. God made them already knowing what they have to do and they just do it, right? They don't yeah. need someone to tell us about it, but they can teach us a lot about responsibility. Just like ants, we can embrace the responsibility of working hard. Yeah. And if we do, then we can show that we can be trusted with what's expected of us. It's so true. So the kinds of responsibilities that we have, of course, are all going to look different. Mm -hmm. But most of us in the room know what people like our parents or our teachers expect of us, right? Yeah. We know that they want us to do our chores. We know that they want us to be polite and kind. We know that they want us to do our schoolwork or sit quietly at our desks. We know pretty much what we're expected to do each and every day. So don't wait to be asked. Mm. Be like the ants and take that initiative. That means doing something that you know you need to do before someone asks you to do it. Mm -hmm. Just jump in, take responsibility, stick with it, get that job done and show that you can be trusted with the tasks that are before you. And it doesn't have to stop there. When you see someone who might need help, go ahead and help them. Don't wait to be asked. Yeah. Go ahead and offer a helping hand mm -hmm. because your hard work isn't just about doing the thing, right? completing the task. It's actually a way that we can show love yeah. to others and we can honor God by yeah. working hard and showing responsibility, yeah. you can make a positive impact on the people around you. Mm. So that's why I want you to remember our bottom line, the most important thing to remember today, and it's probably the easiest bottom line we've ever had. So it'll be so easy for you to remember. Yeah. Can you guys say it with me really loud? Ready? Work hard! Work hard. Oh my gosh, yes, let's work hard. It reminds me, Bonnie. What? Actually, of yeah. our question of the day. Perfect. <laughs> It's time for the question of the day. Oh, that's right. I love this time. And it's time for our question of the day, where we get to talk more about our bottom line and learn from one another. So let's check it out. Reveal that question, Bailey. 
when have, have you, you had, had to work hard? hard? Ooh. Ooh, think about it in your head. Think about it, think about it. When have you had to work hard? Everyone's got something in their head. Now turn to the person next to you. You're gonna talk to each other. Turn to the person next to you and ask them, when was a time you had to work hard? I know that As every you. single one of you are hard workers. Yeah, I'm for so sure. proud of you. Yes, I like know that. Ants. So we're gonna get ready to head to small group, but first let's go ahead and pray and ask God to help us to work hard. So let's pray hands together. ready. Pray hands ready. One, two, three, go. Dear God, thank you for the wisdom that you gave Solomon when he thought about ants and the way that they work and, and how we can learn from the ants for designing us to work hard, to use our talents and our gifts and our skills to make a difference to the people around us. Lord, help us remember that we can work hard in everything we do. Uh, remind us what it means to take responsibility, that we can find a balance between working hard and resting. Lord, show us how we can honor you with all the hard work that we do. God, it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 What did you think about that message? Did you learn something new? I love learning with you every week in Anona Kids about the big idea and God's great big love. I am so glad that we get to hear about God's great big story and how we can live for God every day. Parents, now is a great time for you to click the link below to check out the Church From Home resources. You will learn more about the big idea, the memory verse, play a game, and discuss as a family more about what we learned together today. Now, let's say the benediction together. The benediction is a blessing that we say as we go out into the world to share God's great big love with everyone we meet. Let's say it together. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Now, I am so glad that you are here and that we could be together today. Don't forget, Anona Kids meets every Sunday at 9.30 a.m., and I hope that you can join us soon. Stick around for a minute to check out these announcements, and I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Love you. Bye.